Hey, how's it going, everybody? I am Shadow Stitch. Welcome to my Draft Central, the home of the Charlotte Chandelers. And today we are going to be looking at the team that I drafted for the LET Great Ball Conference. So, if you didn't know, uh, the LET or the League of Extraordinary Trainers uh, is a league that I have actually won way back in um, the first DL the first DLC wave for Sword and Shield came out. I I actually played in the Rising Stars division. It was actually my first full season of a Wi-Fi draft league, I believe. Uh, so, and I ended up re, uh, winning that season, that season uh, I think it was season seven of the LET. So I am indeed a returning champion to this. Um, so yeah, very cool. Um, I, I put myself in as a potential uh, replacement uh, and things because I wasn't you know I didn't I wasn't really feeling like you know just joining right right in but then like the draft started for for this for the great ball conference here and uh, somebody just decided not to show up for like two days straight so eco hit me up shout out to he eco he's like yo would you like to uh, hop in and uh, take over this draft take over this draft and uh, draft a team and so I was like yeah yeah, I, I guess I'll think about it. So I looked at the dra I looked at the draft board, and this man's like pick seven, six or seven, I, what something like that. And there's a palafin still on the board. I'm like, you know what? Bet. Put me in, coach. So here we are for the let. This was this is a 12 person draft. I believe we're going uh, eight weeks. Um, so this is definitely gonna be. A lot of fun. Uh, definitely looking forward to this for sure. So, uh, of course, you can see you know a couple mons spoiled. We are indeed imp deploying the ops as well. So let's go ahead and just get past all the ramble and let's look at the team. So there it is. Bam, the LET Season 11 Charlotte Chandeliers feature Palafin, Garchomp, Ledge, Sylveon, Bronzong, Serena, Meloetta. Quillfish, Hisuian, uh, Spidops, and Braviary. So yeah, this is actually insane. Uh, I I love this team because <laughs> it just it just has it's not the best team. I I will say I don't think that this is the best theme that I've drafted so far this generation. But it just has a lot of Pokemon I really like. So uh, Palafin is a Pokemon that I've been wanting to draft uh, since the effectively the beginning of the generation. Um, but I kind of was a little slow getting into the getting back into the draft at the beginning of the generation, and I always, I just never got lucky. Um, you know, hell, sometimes the even Palafin went, went went like pick two or one <laughs> sometimes, so I just never got the chance. But so I jumped at this opportunity to try out Palafin because I just think it's a it's just such a good Pokemon. It just seems like it's gonna be able to fit my playstyle very well. You know, bulk up. Uh, bulk up, taunt, you know, substitute, drain punch, jet punch kind of sets. Uh, we could definitely run it as a breaker as well. I mean, the thing has 160 base attack. Like, you don't always need to be running the cheesy bulk up sets. You can just slap a choice band on that boy and just go boom and just blow everything up. So, definitely looking forward to using this Pokemon. Uh, I mean, th this is this Pokemon right here is like the entire reason that I, I chose to join. So we gotta build a build a strong team around it. So next up though, we picked up Garchomp. So you see the Trastle mark next to it? That's right, we can Omni Terra our Garchomp. We can Terrastalize into anything that we want, which is absolutely insane. Garchomp, uh, you know, it's not as amazing as it once was, but this mod is still insane. And it got spikes this generation, which is so good. So yeah, it still has an incredible speed tier. 102 will always be a good speed tier. Definitely looking forward to using Garchomp. He is he has been a superstar. I I don't think I've ever drafted Garchomp before, but I've seen it r run very well and doing very well in draft in the past and it's my crack at it. It's my turn. So, yeah, Terrastal Garchomp, absolutely insane Pokémon. Next up though, we have Seraledge, which is uh, fun fact, my favorite Pokemon of the entire generation. I could have picked up another ghost. Uh, I think Skeleturge was even on the board at this point. And I'm like, nah, I want Seraledge. I just want to use it. Because, like, I haven't gotten to use it. It's my favorite Pokemon. 
and I just I haven't gotten to use it. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, I, to to hell with the fact that I have three physical attackers at the start of this draft. Who cares? I wanted to use Sarah Ledge, and I said. I'm gonna use my favorite Pokemon of this generation. I saw an opportunity and I took it. So, Sarah Ledge, incredibly good Pokemon. Hits a decent speed tier. Uh, it has weak armor as well, so it can run some shenanigans there. Um, really good typing. Fire Ghost has always been a really strong typing, you know, ever since uh, my baby girl Chandelure. Um, so, you know, Sarah Ledge carrying that torch, at least until she shows back up in uh, the DLC, which is uh, pretty cool. So,. But yeah, um, just really good Pokemon, definitely looking forward to it, and you know, it, it's literally my favorite of the generation. It has to perform, right? It just has to, so. Next up though, we got Sylveon, nice, uh, nice reliable fairy type. Uh, you know, again, we just get a good fairy type, you know, it's just uh, such a good priority for me. It's like, I want a good fairy, I want a good steal, I've had way too many drafts where I just pick up, like, you know, whatever's left in like round eight or nine for a fairy or steel type is like, nah, no, nah, we ain't doing that. We're getting good stuff. We're getting good core mods. And Sylveon definitely fits the bill right there. It did lose Mystical Fire, so it doesn't really hit, you know, do very well into like steel types. But we do have Baton Pass. Um, we can Dry Pass in this league, you know, as it's called. So uh, you just can't stat. Uh, past stats or substitutes but you know, we can just use it as like a pivoting move which is pretty cool so uh it gets wish you know it can do like calm mindsets uh and stuff like that which is just really cool so yeah overall uh sylveon fantastic pokemon uh there's really not much to say about it it's just it's just a good fairy type you know what else can you really say so and speaking of good pokemon we got bronzong bronzong is an insanely good pokemon and I do not know why people hate on this Pokemon this generation. Yeah, it lost Toxic. I get that. But, you know, it, it still has incredible utility. Like, for one, it got Ice Spinner. Why this Pokemon has Ice Spinner, I don't know. But it has it, and that's awesome. It never had Ice coverage before outside of, like, Hidden Power Ice, so... Um, you know, that's just really good for it, and, you know, Steel Psychic, it's not the best typing in the world, but, it, you know, with Levitate and stuff like that, it just gives, like, really good, um, really good bulk and stuff like that, so it's just a super reliable Pokemon, you know, it doesn't have reliable recovery, but that's what we got Sylveon for, you know, and we can just, uh, we can just take some hits, fire off some damage back, you know, we can explode, we can pop up with, like, Steel Beam and stuff like that, uh, in set up rocks, set up screens and stuff. It's just a good, reliable Pokemon. And, you know, I, I've used it in the past to great success. I'm looking forward to that as well. So, but yeah. Uh, so next up, though, we got Serena. A very cool Pokemon. Gives me a strong spinner as well. This Pokemon, it's not that fast, but hits pretty damn hard and has a pretty good move pool as well. Uh, you know, it got fighting moves, uh, fighting moves, uh, grass, fairy, uh, I don't think it has knockoff anymore i'll have to double check that i'm pretty sure it doesn't have knockoff anymore which is a little unfortunate and u-turn uh, can kind of function as like somewhat of a bulky pivot as well uh but it, it's really there for that spin spin is just good <laughs> just a good freaking thing to have uh because like hazard control just isn't that strong in this generation so having just like a good bulky spinner uh, can definitely save you, save you, and, uh, you know, Serena can definitely take advantage of that speed boost as well, like, like I said, it's not the fastest Pokemon, so getting a little bit of buff to the speed would be nice, so, so yeah, so that's Serena, nothing too crazy, uh, definitely been wanting to use this Pokemon for a little bit, uh, and, uh, happy that I got the chance as well, so. Uh, next up, though, we have our second Terra Captain being Meloetta, so Meloetta is a Pokemon that my front office said do not draft and i said no i'm gonna draft it anyway <laughs> so yeah i wanted i saw q using meloetta well uh, terra meloetta in what was that was it did he have it in ppl or bbr i don't remember but shout out to q the costa rican um he's been using he was using that thing and i'm like yo that looks fun as hell because and especially with omni terra because he had limited terra he can only tear into like three types um, I have Omni Terra, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> so, uh, Meloetta is just a super interesting Pokemon. And of course, we can run physically, or especially offensive, you know, just Calm Mind, Shenanigans, 
it gets dazzling gleam it gets like you know hyper voice uh psychic and stuff like that or we could flip the script immediately and we could run relic song uh Meloetta. now there is a really weird clause in this um in this draft where if we put something to sleep we're not allowed to use relic song uh or dire claw for that chance until that thing wakes up but we don't have anything to put things to sleep i i guess we have yawn on some things but you know we're not gonna really usually relying on that you know so but so if we want to use a relic song set we should be good you know um so yeah that's really cool and meloetta gets you know physical meloetta is incredibly strong still it hits super fast i believe it's 128 it hits really hard uh, it has, you know, stab close combat, it uh, has play rough as well, and then we can just patch up any other um, any other move pool omissions with Terra, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, uh, definitely looking forward to using Meloetta. Sometimes you just have to go against what your front office says, because you just really want to use a Pokemon, <laughs> so there's that. Next up, though, we got Quillfish, uh, the little Hisuian Quillfish. So... This uh, not only gives me my dark type, but also gives me my grounded poison. And uh, it's really bulky. Uh, like, this thing actually is incredibly bulky. Uh, you know, it of course, can use Eviolite, which is nice. Um, it can take hits, it sets up spikes, it sets up toxic spikes. Uh, it doesn't have pivoting. I think that's just one thing that I always thought Quillfish should have. It should have, like, flip turn, um, or even U turn. Like, it should have some kind of pivoting move. But it just doesn't. It's just so weird. Um, still has Intimidate. Has, like, Poison Point. Uh, it got the Bar Barrage move, which is really cool. You know, spreading poisons and stuff like that around and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, just overall, just a good little Pokemon. Uh, definitely, you know, definitely looking forward to using this little guy. I think that he's going to perform very well. Um, you know, we have, a we have a couple Pokemon that just seem, like, really reliable. They're not going to, like be the superstars they're not gonna be taking 100 hits and stuff or 100 knockouts and stuff like that but they're gonna be just there taking hits setting up hazards spreading status just being really cool speaking of hazards though the ops have been deployed we got spite ops baby he was lounging around in that freaking bottom tier and we had to pick something from the bottom tier uh so i was like you know let's let's deploy the ops so spite ops horrible pokemon this mon's stats are trash. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. But he got every hazard in the book, which is absolutely insane. Uh, except for Stealth Rock. I don't think he gets Stealth Rock. I, I could be wrong. I, I maybe he does. But yeah, and like, yeah. But that's really all he's for. We want him to set up hazards. We got, we got Sticky Webs uh, on this team, which is a super rare thing. Not a lot of Pokemon get Sticky Web in this generation. Like, it's like this, Masquerade, and, like, Cricketune, I think. I, I'm probably forgetting something else, but, you know, and Sticky Webs, if your F tier, your bottom tier Pokemon forces prep, you've already won in some regard. That is great. So, yeah, uh, Sticky Webs is fantastic fantastic to have on this team, um, for sure. And then, uh, I, I, there's not really a whole lot to say about Spide Ops. He's there to set up hazards. He might do something silly, like not kill a talon flame uh with rocket with a four times super effective move um <laughs> and uh yeah so but yeah terrible pokemon but he has a great move pool at least so and to pair with that with all this hazards all this hazards and all this shenanigans we have terra braviary so there's one thing that i like drafting that is missing from this team and that's a good fighting type braviary with Omni Terra, can easily fill that role. It, you know, can come in, can take some hits, can tear it into a fighting type. It gets stab close combat. It gets, uh, it gets like a uh, body slam, by the way, now with sheer force, which is insane. Like, uh, you know, its speed isn't even that bad. It also gets defog. If I don't want to be stacking up a bunch of hazards and my opponent uh, has a bunch of hazards going on, I get defog and it also has roost. Uh, so yeah, this Pokemon, I have used it in the past. It has been the reason that I won a league, uh, in the past. And, uh, it, it's, it's fucking Murica Bird. What else can I say? 
So yeah, uh, amazing Pokemon. Um, I think a lot of people disrespect Bra Braviary. They look at the Hisuian Braviary, oh, shiny new toy and stuff like that. But yo, you cannot disrespect and forget about good old Murica Bird uh, right here. And uh, yeah, I'm super looking forward to uh, to using using that. So overall, like I said, I don't think this is the best team that I've drafted so far this generation, but it's full of a lot of Pokemon that I just like and I've been wanting to use. Like, it has Palafin. The one Pokemon that I've wanted to use after, like, Annihilate uh, this entire generation, and I finally get to use it. And I even get Seraledge, my favorite Pokemon of the entire generation. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, of course, not to mention the Ops have been deployed. So... Um, yeah, but that's pretty much about it. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think about this team? Uh, be, keep, be sure to keep an eye out on Fridays uh, where LET uploads are going to be going up uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, but that is going to be it for me today, though. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching. Like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff. I love you all. Deuces.